party atmosphere is almost guaranteed here at Devonport Naval Base as HMS Montrose returned from a five month deployment to the Gulf of Aden and off the Somali coast. Uh, as you can see, hundreds of people have turned up, braving temperatures down as cold as minus four uh, to witness the occasion and to help celebrate the success. And what better Christmas present could they really hope for than the arrival of their loved ones after five months away? HMS Montrose has been away at sea since August. This has been a successful anti-piracy deployment for the Type 23 frigate. Not only did the crew destroy pirate ships, it also helped rescue sailors from the clutches of pirates. The Royal Marines Band added to the festive spirits, playing Christmas songs. But for these families, the best Christmas present of all is having their loved ones back home for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be home? Absolutely fantastic. It's a bit of a shock with the weather. <laughs> Not used to the cold at the minute, but yeah, it's brilliant to see everyone. So what's it like having him back? Uh, great, and we're going to have a big pirate party tomorrow. So lots of people across Plymouth coming, and um, everyone's got to dress as a pirate in honour of them chasing pirates. So. Pilot says it's the best Christmas present ever, haven't you? What do you say to uh, that? It's got to <laughs> Uh, it's good to be on. Good to be on. Uh, achievements on your deployment? Certainly, we've had some really tangible successes there. Um, not only the destruction of two pirate vessels, denying the use of those to the pirates to attack further vessels. We also released the crew of a German uh, merchant vessel. They were attacked about 500 miles north of the Seychelles. Um, we got a message as we were departing the Seychelles. They'd been attacked. They'd locked themselves away in the citadel. Um, 24 hours later we were uh, able to arrive there, confirm that the pirates had departed and released them from the citadel. And that the great success of that for us was a letter of thanks sent from the German Foreign Minister to William Haig thanking the Royal Navy for the effort. So it's great to get that recognition.